Uh, hello YouTube, this is the President Michael back with another um, mail day video. And I have um, several things to show you, some TTNs and some purchases. Oh, and this shirt is going to be, it's kind of a preview of some of one cool per um, TTM I got later on. I actually had this shirt for a while, but me and aware I just haven't got around to it. Okay, first the TTMs. Another um, great playbill success from the Rock of Ages cast sign playbill. Really nice looking playbill. And of course, they sent two. Now, I actually got another playbill success, and it's a really cool one. I don't think I've seen anybody get this in yet. It, I mean, I could be wrong, but it's really nice, and it's not the conventional playbill. This is from Silence, the musical. And it's like a newspaper-like playbill. It's entirely cast signed in the front. Hannibal Lecter strikes again. There it goes. Really cool, and it has and opens up. Cast information, little biographies, of course, in the back too. But it's really it's a neat one. All right, the next TTM I got in is I got in from Bill O'Reilly. I wrote to him at his um, um, his um, you know his, his resin address, and he signed three book plates for me and two index cards. Here's the first book plate. Second, and his address was very easy to find. So if anybody wants it, just let me know. I'll be happy to um, provide it to you. He's a great autograph to have, especially if you're interested in politics and journalism. And if you're interested in author addresses or um, autographs. He's written several books. So let me know if you want that address. I'll be happy to provide it. Alright, now. Here is a super great TTM. This is from Brian Hillard. He played the Bloat at Well Walker. And I got an 8x10 signed by him. Isn't that cool? Move it up slowly so you can see the whole thing. And that came in quick, probably only took about a week. The O'Reilly only took about a week, too. And the Rock of Ages took around that too. And uh, but Silence the Musical was out a little longer. Anyways, signed a couple other things. He signed um, this train card I sent. Of course, he signed it on the back. This is pretty nice. And he signed two index cards. Michael, don't drink the water. Good advice, I won't. And then when he um he signed it and he printed out his name and then he wrote bloated well walker. Okay. Now on to the purchases. I was able to pick up some more of those. I know some are interested in this. I was able to pick up some more of those um, dog tags for The Walking Dead. And here's the ones I got. Of course, the silver colored one this time for this. And um, this sticker. 
And of course, they all have the um, key rings. I won't show the key rings because they're all identical. Okay. There's this one. This one's uh, gold color. And another one of these. Got two more, and then on to autographs. Unfortunately, none of these had the um, costume worn pieces. And the red one. And, uh, This guy. One more. And the green one. And what a coincidence. Same one of that one. Okay, now on to the purchases. Um, let me do the books. Yeah, let me do the books first. Here's Heart of the Savannah by Veronica Ann Starbuck. It's signed right there. Here is In Dreams by Dennis Moore. One of the creepiest cover covers I ever seen. It's signed right here. Both of these were only a couple bucks each. And uh, one more um, comic book. Superhero Happy Hour is autographed by Dan Taylor and Chris Fasson. And let's see. One autograph's here. And the other's right there. Okay. I picked up some uh, really nice trading cards. Let me take some, I'm going to take some of these out of the um, top loader so it's easier to see. Okay. This is Chris Young. This is one of those um, letter patches. It's number 47 out of 75. Isn't that neat? And it's, like I said, number you can see right here. Yeah. And there's the back. Here's a real nice one. Here's one of those Sweet Beginning signatures. It's one of those helmet cards. It's signed by uh, Matt DeSalvo. And it feels like a real helmet. And look how thick this is. This is another one that's literally a brick. You have a few more of these, you can actually build a house. And it's signed right there. Here's a neat one. It's, it's uh, from Dr. Willis. It's called Big Signs. It's number 97 out of 100. That's one of those flip open ones. Signed right there. I actually met Dr. Willis a couple times. Pardon the language, but he's a jackass. He was not that nice. Simply put, it's like um, you didn't even exist to him. Let me take these out of these so you can see them better. Here's um, Bowman. Let's see, 2005, signed by um, Delman Young. 
I actually met Delman Young. He was okay. Here is Signs of the Future. It's Bowman again, 2007. Signed by uh, Adam Miller. I met. I also met Adam Miller. He was um. He was decent. Here's another one of those Letterman cards. And this is from Razor Entertainment, 2008, and Jay Austin. This one I have to keep in because it's in a screw down. But this is another Letterman. It's um, Carlos Gutierrez. It's also from Razor Entertainment 2008. Let's see, I think yep, that's actually it. Um, if you have any um, questions or comments, like I said, if you need that O'Reilly address, because I know he's a pretty um, good autograph to get, at least in my opinion, let me know. But if you have any other questions or comments, um, please put them below. And I'm always happy to um, answer. And remember, be autograph strong. Be autograph strong. Your president, the president of the United States of Autographs, is given an executive order for you to be autograph strong, because I am definitely autograph strong. Well, all right, YouTube, I uh, look forward to uh, talking to you again, and um, I'll see you again soon. All right, bye, everybody. Bye.